best way to warm up on a cold and rainy day in Dublin is to come to the Guinness Storehouse. Let's go. The place is like a fun house. There's elevators, escalators going all over. There's seven floors of interactive exhibits. It's so much fun here. Extra status in Australia and North America right here. It's hard to visualize, but we're actually standing in a pint glass, as you can see right here. The lease was signed in 1759 when Arthur Guinness purchased a four-acre brewery here in St. James's Gate. What makes it very unique is that he signed it for 9,000 years. One of my favorite parts of this tour so far is that I can actually taste freshly brewed Guinness. We use 100,000 tons of Irish-grown barley each year. It's the roasted barley that gives Guinness its ruby red color and distinctive taste. Oh baby, it tastes so good. It tastes like St. Patrick's Day. It's like dessert. I love Guinness. The most highly skilled workers in the brewery were the Coopers. There was 300 and they made 1,000 barrels here per week by hand. I'm now in the pour your pint room, so I just learned how to pour a perfect glass of Guinness. So I'm gonna try this out and see how it goes. I hold it at a 45 degree angle, and as soon as it hits the bottom of the part, I put the glass straight up. And now I have to wait 119 seconds for this to settle. The goal is for this to look like this, so I can earn my Guinness pouring certificate. Looks like I'm a winner. The last stop on this tour is the Gravity Bar, where you get a free pint of Guinness and a 360 degree view of Dublin. It's absolutely stunning, and you have to make the trip to the Guinness factory. Cheers. Cheers. I, I like Guinness back home, but uh, it's never tasted any better than here. Guinness! I don't even drink Guinness, but I found it interesting. It was a really good tour. The beer is very good. Guinness. Yeah. Woo!